Our next topic is an application of combinatorial neural strands to prove something called the permanent lamb. So here's a theorem. So it is called the permanent lamb. So before, maybe before stating the lemma, I'm gonna tell you the definition of a permanent. Permanent of a square matrix is simply the sum of all these all these things for all permutations. Right? So determinant Oh, yeah, sum of the product of ai by i. You know, determinant is similar, but now in the determinant, you also multiply sine, sine of the permutation. Here, you don't multiply sine. So when you have a matrix A1, A... Okay, let me just take the simple example. So in this case, it's AD plus BC. So that's a permanent. All right, so the permanent lemma says the following. So here, A is n by n matrix over a field F, and let's say permanent of A is non-zero. And let's say B is in the field, B is a vector, then for every family of sets L1, L2, Ln of size 2, right? So whenever you have two element subsets, in F, there exists a vector x in L1 times L2 times Ln such that when you multiply x to a and if you look at the i's coordinate then that's different from the i's coordinate of b. Okay, so this means the i's coordinate for all i from 1 up to n. So that's the permanent lemma. And the proof is actually a simple application of the combinatorial new stranger. So let's define f of x1 so the polynomial to be the product of aij xj. Oh, okay. Sum <laughs> of aij xj minus bi all right so that's my polynomial then what is the degree so degree of f is equal to n because we are, we are multiplying linear polynomial n times so the degree is n now what is the coefficients of the high, uh, highest order highest degree monomial so that's uh, i mean of course we want to look at the coefficients of x1 x2 xn right is the in that case you uh, precise you know you were ignoring minus bi and you never multiply uh, same x2 twice for instance so you're gonna consider all permutations of xi's and then uh, multiply aij so that's exactly permanent of a all right oh wait what is a <laughs> aij so a is actually aij So A is a matrix. I mean, A I J is an entry. 
All right, so if the permanent is non-zero, that means the coefficient is non-zero. So whenever you are given two choices, right? So here you have a one, one, one. So whenever I'm given two choices for each variables, then there will be a, some assignment whether where this polynomial is non-zero. So by the combinatorial Newell's okay, let me use this page by the combinatorial Newell's Tranger. There is exists x1, x2, xn such that f of x1, x2, xn is non-zero and xi is in li so and that's exactly what we want all right so uh, this can be seen as a kind of generic tool to show that something exists right as long as we compute the permanent of some matrix and if it's non-zero then we we can always find some assignment where something is non-zero. So let me show you one chloride. So here is a chloride for graph. So let G be a bipartite graph with the uh, bipartition A B, and let's say both A and B have size M. Now, and assume G has at least one perfect matching. This is to make sure that certain matrix has a non-zero permanent. And then what we are going to prove is for every uh, integers, I mean, every set of sequence of integers d1, d2, dn, there exists a subset x of a such that the ice vertex of B has exactly oh yeah I mean what I mean is that such that the number of neighbors of ice vertex of B in X is not equal to di well and the proof is I mean, this is almost like a reformulation, right? Because when you have a graph G, I can construct the matrix. Right? So here you have A, here you have a B, then you, have, you put 1 if these two are adjacent, otherwise you put 0. And since graph has a perfect matching, permanent is non-zero. Now, if you use permanent lemma, that means I can multiply some vector here so that uh, it can avoid being equal to di and I will only multiply 0 or 1 right so, oh maybe I, I should use this side is to be a this side to be I'm multiplying 0 or 1 and once I multiply that then outcome is the degree right number of neighbors in that set from b side and that's not equal to yeah. So that's precisely the permanent lemma. Okay. We will see more one more applications later.